Alrighty guys, thanks for checking out the video today. Today is my first what's in the bag on my own personal channel. I've done a couple of what's in the bags before on the journey and quite a little bit has changed uh, with my bag and the content so I thought I'd do a new what's in the bag or maybe just a what's in the bag for anybody new to my channel um, who's never seen me before playing golf on YouTube. So I suppose I'll start with my wedges first. I have Callaway Mac Daddy 2 wedges, X100 stiff shafts, one and a half inches over standard um, in the rustic kind of look. I'll put some photos up down the screen, somewhere for you to look at. Now I've got this in 52, 56 and 60 as marked, but the 52 is bent to 50, the 56 is bent to 58, and the 60 is at 64. Basically went into the Golf Gurus, we did a few things and they bent them to how I want them, just trying to fill in the gaps between my distances. So those are my wedges. Then we go to my TaylorMade MB Forge uh, clubs, uh, running a three iron to pitching wedge, standard loft and standard lie, but they're one and a half inches over standard with KBS uh, tour stiff shafts. These are a great club. I'll put some photos in them down the bottom. They've got the weight in the middle, which I really do like. I've tried a few clubs and irons since my last Hallamade uh, burners that I've bought, I think, what, 2005 or six, And these have been the ones I've stuck with the most probably the last few months. For a forged golf club, uh, more, more, more importantly for a forged uh, blade, they're actually quite a chunky blade, as you'll see. Um, they are quite forgiving because the weight's quite generous in the middle there, so I do find if I hit it anywhere reasonably in, in the center, it's gonna go the same distance. But yeah, so those are my irons right there. Just some cheap um, iron covers I've got off uh, AliExpress, which is the Chinese version of eBay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then we go to a uh, Mizuno JPX 850 three wood, which I'm running at 16 degrees and I'm running it on neutral. Um, it's got a the stock standard Fujikara stiff shaft, 65 grams. And I've got a, about four grips, four wraps on these for a nice, because I've got bigger hands, so a nice thick grip. I really don't use this too much, because I do find with my distances, driver or three iron is usually quite comfortable for me. But when I use this, it's usually for an approach on a par five or a duff shot on a par four, which I've got to make up 300 meters or so. Same driver and the same model, JPX1, JPX850, sorry. Now, the original shaft in this is gone. Actually, no, the original shaft was gone when I got it and now the other shaft I had when I had it has now been gone too. I'm running the Adilla Rogue shaft. Now this is two inches over standard. I've had it cut down and plugged. So had that done at Virginia Golf Shop uh, by Artie and I really love how I'm hitting this at the moment. I have tried the new one, but I hit it roughly around the same and to me that just doesn't justify spending another four to six hundred dollars, whatever it is, on a new driver. And I'll take care of this and you know, this is my go-to club, so I love it. Uh, from there, this is a big, uh, a big probably buy for me personally because I never really believed in Scotty Cameron putters and the prices until I actually went and tried one at my local golf shop that was selling X demos. Long story short, I actually went inside to take my old tailor-made spider putter to get a new grip, got the new grip put on, but as I'm waiting, I saw the Scotty Cameron sitting by the door of the other Scotties and I just started practicing with it. and. I got my new putter, went out and played nine holes, but the whole time that nine, no, nine holes, this putter was on my mind. So I came back in, asked if I could demo on the putting green. Long story short, fell in love with it, got it. So I ended up trading in the putter and the new grip that I only use for nine holes in, and I think I paid a hundred bucks and I got this. So this is a Scotty Cameron Dual. It's got the weight end of the grip. Um, Scotty Cameron Select, I'll put some photos down the bottom. Now I'm pretty sure you know what it is because most of you guys out there that watch YouTube probably know more than me. Um, but yeah, I, but the one thing I will say about Scotty Cameron now is I understand what quality is when it comes to golf clubs because even the cover, the cover is amazing itself. Like I understand why these cost 50, 60, 70, even 100 bucks sometimes because compared to the ones that come stand up, say a TaylorMade or a Peng, these things here are just, I've had this now for I think a year and I, the UV, I keep the clubs in the car and my old tailor-made putter, it advised or just chafed, just fell apart like dandruff in the back as the UV was hitting it in the car. This thing here, you can't fault it, and it's black too. So, love it. Now, range finder, I use a Bushnell. 
Book Tour V3, so there it is, put some photos down if you want to see it. I've been using this now for about a year and a half and I really don't know how I could go back to playing golf without one. Uh, it gives me a whole new respect for people or caddies that go out there and, you know, pace out the stuff the day before they play and that. And when you look at this thing, I don't think I could ever play golf without it now. You know, I'm so reliant on it. I use a ta ta Titleist Pro V1 and a Pro V1X golf ball, depending on whatever my golf guy can get me. Um, I usually get 50 AAA ones for 50 bucks Australian, which is pretty good. I've um, been doing that for a few years now. Um, now, AAA is basically, it's been hit once or twice, it's been refinished, it's put back in. And from the golf clubs here, I use where, where you play in Queensland, especially in the dry climates, a new brand new Pro V1, you get three or four holes and it's already scuffed up, so I'd rather just cut out the middleman and buy a cheaper ball. But the latest, newest thing for me personally is the Titleist Tool Bag. Now, I fell in love with this bag um, last year when we went to Royal Pines and watched the, um, the Australian PGA Championship. And I noticed every second pro was, wearing, was using one of these and saw one of these on the Golf Buy Sell Swap page for 150 bucks. It was used three times and I snapped it up. I literally picked it up. Ironically, on the way home from my trip from 1770, we had to go through this place which is about oh, somewhere near Anusa, and we pulled it up and picked it up on the way. So it worked out, You're too good to be true. And I suppose anything else, I use uh, Mizuno uh, golf clubs. I actually do find um, the baseball technology they bring into the golf club world really does work for durability, especially wet weather, stuff like that too. Um, have a few little bag tags, Royal Hawaiian, Bobby Muldoons, uh, the Olds Club at Malaysia, Link Howie. But apart from that guys, that's my bag right there. That's my first Western bag for the channel. As you can see, it's Christmas time here. Got some presents. Don't know what's in there. Ooh, M&Ms. Um, but yeah, so Merry Christmas from me to you. Give us a thumbs up or tell me what you'd like to see. But um, I'm really enjoying learning how to edit. And you know, Christine, my wife, got me for my birthday this year an iMac. Um, I'll just, I'll actually turn around and show you. I really enjoy learning how to edit, and that's my passion at the moment. Um, and also I just like seeing myself and seeing what I'm doing wrong in golf. And I actually do quite like the community that the YouTube kind of brings in, you know, into it. I'm um, talking to people all around the world. It's kind of, the, kind of like the old MSN or, you know, chat like that, where you actually get to meet people talking, you know, golf all around the world. And that's what I love about this the most. But that's my what's in the bag. The only thing that might change, hopefully if Santa Claus does listen, might give me a Titleist golf towel that I really want. But uh, apart from that, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, hope you enjoy the Albany Lynx, if you're watching this far enough, you're still up if you are. Albany Lynx Golf Course Christmas Special with Charlie. That starts tonight. I think I'm gonna put this out Christmas Eve in the morning, I think I'll put this out. So that could be, uh, oh, if Australia's ahead of everybody else, I don't know, we, you, anyway, you work it out. Comment below when you're watching this and you tell me. Merry Christmas, guys.